dark on that 200, I and mean, they're all over. Oh. Every now and then you got to hit the brakes. You know? Mark, where'd you find all the wood? Uh, we found a tree in the runway down there, so we cleaned it up. It took three of us about, what, 15 minutes. Uh, is it was, pretty wet wood or is it uh, dead wood? It's been laying there quite a while. Oh. I think Kenny was waiting for us to show up. <laughs> and we had some dry slabs down there that we Yeah, we up. found some bunch of dry shit like you see yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So we got enough wood for tonight for sure. <laughs> yeah, and I think we got enough beer too. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but I can see the wood right here. But I don't know where the beer is. Well, That's what the those, building is for? Who's Kenny? There's two big coolers over there. They showed the up coolers. before the wood did. Now, who's Kenny? Kenny's at home uh, making... Kenny's home cooking up oh, okay. part of his chef or something. Rapport. Yeah, he'll be here soon. For tonight? Well, I don't know when he's going to have oh. it. I didn't see the menu exactly. The time, whole timeline on the menu. I have a copy of the menu in my car. I wouldn't leave home without it. He's got some <laughs> stuff going already. Yeah, we've had wild rice, we've had chili, uh, some yeah. coffee going in there. Uh, there. All the above will probably be available. Is there a, a donation bowl for things or what? Yep, I is. think they're inside. Inside, inside okay. Yeah. Well, where, where are you out of? Uh, Crystal, KMIC, Minnesota. Okay. Yeah, I know where that is. Now, are you going to camp out here or just fly in today and come back tomorrow or what? Third time camping here this summer. Oh, okay. Did you, uh, no, you didn't come to the fly in Bemidji. Didn't to Moberg. We were over here camping for three days, so. The weather was bad anyway on Saturday morning. Yeah. All right, thank you. Absolutely, David. What am I looking at, 180? 185. 185. 1978. Did you ever have this aircraft on floats? Never on floats, no. Is that in the works someday? I don't think so. Okay, you're happy. Not, not out of North Dakota. We don't have any. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't, I don't get up into Canada or no. that. So. Whereabouts in North Dakota? Uh, just west of Grand Forks at McKenna. Oh, sure. I grew up in Grand Forks. Okay. So I know the area fine. Okay, I want to take a look at your tent, and I'm going to go back and check out the fire. There you go. Good enough. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. You ducked behind there. Now, I'll stay far away, but you're telling me you have... Relatives with the same name as me as Quam? Yeah, Quam. Yep, same From name. where? Well, Mom was from... Um, Let me get closer here and hear you better. Tolna, Hamer area. From where? Tolna, Hamer area. Don't know where that is. Well, um, how would you describe where Tolna is? Hmm? How do you describe where Tolna is? Direction. Tolna? Yeah. Tolna is highway 15 west of Northwood. Out by uh, Tolna is straight south of Stump Lake. Okay, I know that. I know where Stump Lake is. Yeah. Only no people on the east side. Yeah. What's the date today, guys? Huh? What's the date? Twenty uh, something? Yeah. 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 I think it's October. October 27th? Oh, I gotta put my glasses on. God, I don't know what. I can look here. No, I'm looking at my phone here. I just didn't want to put the glasses on. Too lazy. It's gotta be like the 5th or something, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I can't see it on here, so. The 1st. There you go. Oh, yeah. what the heck? Yeah. Well, this is October the 2nd. Friday about 4.30 in the afternoon, we're at Bowstring Airport, north of Deer River for the fall rendezvous fly-in uh, to catch all the colors. It was scheduled for last weekend, but the weather was bad, so this is the weekend, no matter what happens. It's 4.30, and I'm not sure what time, but I've got the menu here so you know what you're missing. Tonight, Friday night, uh, it's going to be hamburgers, brats, and refreshments. Saturday, Breakfast, eggs, cakes, sausage, coffee, juice. And for lunch, burgers, brats, chili, beverage, sides. And then dinner is chili, burgers, brats, potato bar, whatever that is, and sides. And if you're still here on Sunday morning, uh, or Sunday, uh, breakfast, eggs, cakes, sausage, coffee, and juice. Lunch, burgers, brats, chili, sides. Boy, there's a lot of food if you, if you, uh, if you didn't make it here.
drive here. <laughs> now this is good. It's it's paid for by we make a donation to the to the kitty, and everybody's happy with that arrangement. We have no idea how many planes are going to come in, but I think it's going to be a nice weekend. Glad you could join us. Bye bye. He's a good traveler, though. Yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Hey, hello, I'm Dave Arcand. Uh, this is my mall, M4, and I'm going to take Dave up for a little flight around the lake and we'll buzz the strip and give you a look at what it looks like up here. Now, this airplane's awfully shiny in the fall color. Did you just redo it or wax it or no, something? No, this, I, I bought this uh, about eight years ago and I washed it once, but it's got, it's got a super paint job on it and uh, it just it has that wet look to it. Is that yes? Arrow, I like that thing. look. Yeah, wet, wet look. Yeah. Yeah, that arrow thing. So. It, it, As a matter of fact, I like it when women have that wet look. Oh, Jesus! I've yeah. seen the I've seen the catalogs. They got that wet look. Swimming <laughs> swimming suit ad or something. Swimming suit edition. All right, we'll put the camera away and we'll take the little camera from our pocket and we'll take a look around the area. Sure. Thank, thank yep, you. We got a little fall color left, so. I didn't think good. it would be going to hold up this long, but yeah. it did. Should be good. Yep. Morning. Wow, you're making, you got the grill going here. Yeah. Guys coming in. Oh, you're making it from scratch? Pancakes? Yeah. yeah we're going to mix our own. I see the eggs here and so forth, so. Yeah, we're, uh, pancakes and sausage? Sausage. Maybe do a half a dozen or a dozen pancakes to throw in sausage there. Sausage up here. Uh, I think well, it's out here in the, this cooler. Pardon me. Sweet rolls and sweet rolls. Oh, that st looks sticky, doesn't it? They frozen? Frozen, yes, they are. <laughs> It'll take a while to thaw out then. Do what? Eye warmers. Yeah, well, this, this and <laughs> when you go to the kitchen to get a bite to eat, if you come outside, you got to eat fast before it gets cold. But I brought some of the Moberg maple syrup. They're warming it up, so you got you got the uh, manufactured artificial syrup, and you got a little bottle of maple syrup, so you get the right one. Awesome. Well, we'll find out more about it when we find the owner. It looks like a round disc on a metal aluminum pole into the ground. Uh, of course, put a light on it, it really, really, really reflects. There's a whole bunch of them here. I guess they're end of the runway markers. Well, getting breakfast this morning and getting outside with the food, you gotta eat fast before it gets cold. There you go. Spot to park? Hey, I get it, please. I guess, huh? I wasn't sure. Where, where are you out of? Bemidji. Oh, just down the road a piece. Just down the road. Came in with Sam. Oh, yeah, Sam and, and Stenson, yeah. Yeah, I'm Justin. You're Justin? Justin Hoover. Justin Hoover. Hi, Hoover. Justin. Name is David. David, nice to meet you. The, the food 
is up in the kitchen ready to go. Okay. But be advised, you may have to eat it quickly because it'll get, get cold on you. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's a beautiful day out here, isn't it? Oh, there's no wind, but it'll warm up now with the sun coming up. Yeah, it is a lot of fun coming in here. It's a nice flight over. It's great. I think you were at Moberg, right? You, you do uh, some of this taping and stuff, right? Yeah, I'm part of the EAA chapter there in Bemidji, so we... Well, that's neat. Do my thing. You got your iPad on the side up here. Yeah, so then I connect that into ADS-B in on, on the window over there on the right, and then that allows me to see traffic and live uh, up-to-date weather. Not live, but pretty up-to-date. And then, um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. Well, I don't know what the temperature was last night, but I, have, I was in a trailer, so it was pretty comfortable. But the, being in the tent, oh, yeah, I... Well, with this temperature this morning, everybody's huddled around the fireplace. I just had to get them up here once. Once, yes. My wife and I, we camped up here one, one summer and had a great time. That'll be good. Yeah, Maybe see you guys in Bemidji at that fly in August something? Middle of August, usually. Middle of August? Yeah. That's Fair enough. Good one. If I'm not in the mountains somewhere, right, it's usually right. when I head. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, Anyone know what the official temperature was last night? 27. Uh, yeah, this morning early. The news yeah, it was early. Was 26. It, when I got 20, here, 26, it okay. The coldest spot in the state. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about Bermuji. Bermuji was the coldest spot. Wow. Uh, P47. Oh, yeah. Oh, he. You got them looking good. Now, how do you keep them warm? Take them inside? Take them inside and put them in there warmer. Oh. I'll, you go ahead. I'll get the, the door. I gotta come in here. There we go. There we go. Sam, how many fly ins did you do this summer? Uh, like two. <laughs> Mulberg and this one? Yeah. Same as me. Did the Grand Rapids one, did that get canceled or? I don't think they did any of them. Huh. Well, he's got to come back and flip them or something. Let's see, where'd my flipper go? Oh, right here. They're all going to be over easy? They're all going to be the same, hopefully. <laughs> All the Indian trick here. Yeah, yeah, right. Let me back up. They're looking good. Oh, good. I hope you guys appreciate. Come inside. You go ahead. I'll follow you in. I don't want any eggs, but I just want to. Perfect. So he comes over here. Any more cakes here? A month at uh, a time. Right from the yeah. grill. Yeah. And then goes back. Uh, yeah. And so they had to coordinate the surgery. Uh -huh. This was right when they were starting to shut airlines. Oh, wow. Shutting down, so we were sure he was gonna, you know, get caught in. Those that are fresh and eggs, man. You have a good story for us today, Dave. Well, I got a lot of stories, but I can't. Either it's in the book, you know. Oh, it's in the book. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Fly -by day. What do I hear going on here? I can't find him in the viewfinder. Good morning and welcome to uh, Bowstring. How are you? Well, I'm pretty good now because the breakfast was really good. Good, good. But you got to eat it fast because it gets cold fast. That's what we'll do when we come up. Who am I talking to? Uh, Brad Burnson. Where's Brad from? Down in Le Sur, Minnesota. Le Sur? Yeah, south of... Uh, Minneapolis, just north of Mankato. Oh, you had quite a trip then. You came all the way from there? Yeah. What, a couple hours or what? Two hours, yeah. Now you got enough fuel to go back, you're stopping someplace. We'll stop someplace for gas. We have two more airplanes coming behind me. Oh, you do? Okay. Are they real close behind you or do you don't know? Uh, one is about an hour and a half and the other one will be here probably in 30 minutes. Okay, I'll wait for them. Okay, now I, what, is, what do you know I don't know because I see the guy's got his cowling Covered with a heat blanket. Well, you're probably going to plug that in for engine heat. 
I don't see any cable going to it. Well, you, well, you, is it that you cold? Know. We have to have the engine heat on today? Mm, probably not. 26 but, last night, but it's going to be warm this afternoon. Uh, yeah, and maybe you just had it on overnight, so. I didn't see that. Now, wh where'd you get the fireworks from we're going to have? Fireworks? Yeah. Oh, and my brother got it, and I got it in Wisconsin, so. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yep. Okay, All see right. you later. All right. I'm go find my fish pan. <laughs> This is a pretty active place, but you would never know it's hidden back in the woods. What a great place for a grass strip airport. Uh, this, there's fly-ins in the fall. There's summertime. It's, it's more active than I thought it was. What's, what's happening here? Uh, this is our annual fall fly-in. We usually have 30-plus uh, airplanes fly in. Uh, we have campgrounds where, where pilots can camp overnight in the campground, or some of them choose to camp under their airplane wings. Uh, we have this annually. We have uh, uh, grass is a gas is another fly-in that we have in the summertime where pilots start out at Brainerd and they end up at Brainerd, but the object is to land at uh, grass airports along the way and they, they get a poker hand and when they get back to Brainerd they uh, see who has the best poker hand and there's lots of prizes that they get. Uh, we have uh, annual meetings, or excuse me, we have monthly meetings uh, the airport commission, uh, second uh, Saturday of each month. And after the meeting, we have uh, fire up the grill, and we have pilots flying in uh, for that. Uh, this airport is used extensively for, for training. Uh, I know our DNR uses it. Uh, they come in and do touch and goes. Uh, there's not a lot of grass strips around here for them to use, so this is one of their favorites. Uh, and we try to get people to sign in our log books, but many of them don't because they don't, they just do touch and goes, they don't actually stop or come inside. So we estimate that maybe only half or less than half of the pilots that actually use the airport actually sign in. Uh, and a lot of them are repeats, so they figure, well, I signed in once, I don't have to sign in again, yeah. you know. So well, I was, I was taken back by, and surprised how much activity there is here. You, 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 you wouldn't know it until you come here to realize how active this grass strip is. Well, as, as I go around the country in Minnesota, I'll, like say at the Brainerd Airport, they have a cafe there, and I'll stop there once in a while. And I'll hear, overhear pilots talking about the good time they had at Brainerd, or at Bowstring, and, and how they're looking forward to their next fly-in. So I hear this uh, off and on wherever I go. Bemidji, I uh, hear pilots talking about it, uh, just, yeah, just all over. Well, when I see people who come to our Moberg flying, I have asked them if they've been to Bowstring. Oh, absolutely. So there's a lot more activity here than I really realized, and uh, I hope I get a lot of airplanes today to talk to everybody, see where they're coming from. I got people, a guy just landed, came from uh, oh, a town 50, 60 miles south of Minneapolis. She's coming here for the fall cookout and Absolutely. fly. Absolutely. We get North Dakota, we get uh, Wisconsin, uh, a lot, lot of them from Minneapolis area. Uh, yeah, just, just all over. All right, well, now you can get out because oh. we're going to, okay. if you don't mind, we're going to talk on camera. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you agree. Uh, well, Deborah, I, 
Yeah. You just flew in the Super Cub. Is this your Super Cub? Or? It is. And where did you fly in from? From Lisur, Minnesota, which is um, close to Mankato. Okay. We have another plane coming in here? Yep. Okay. Well, now that you're here, uh, I suspect breakfast is still being served. Good deal. Huh? Uh, well, yeah, eat it inside because it won't cool off so fast. Okay. How long have you been flying? Uh, seven years. Seven years? You got your license down in your hometown? At Flying Cloud. And this gentleman is? Mike. Pardon me, now, uh, friend? Wait a minute. Friend. For, yeah. for, okay, Mike. And you're fleeing, you also fly? Yep. Try so road in the back with her come up here. It was a beautiful day. We wanted to see the fall colors. And oh, gosh, yeah. He I took a lot of pictures. Something's going on here. Hang on. Bye bye. Yep. All right. <laughs> we'll spin around here again. What do you fly, Mike? Do you have an airplane or what do you do? Yeah, I have a PA 11. It okay. It's just like this airplane. Okay. Now, either of you had your aircraft on floats? No. Because where you are, there's not much water, is there? A little bit, but he just got his float. Yeah, I just got my float ready in the summer. Oh, you did? Whereabouts? Uh, Lake Crystal with Pat McKenzie. Okay. His J3. Oh, the J3. Oh, that's, that's the way to learn. Yeah. What kind of horsepower? 90 or? I was at uh, Stroker 85. Okay. So it was a 100 and horsepower or something like that. This is a what? PA 12? PA 18. 18, so now what, you got 150 horsepower? Or, huh? No, 90? Mm -hmm. Super. Now, this is just your first time here to this uh, yes. strip? Yes. I camped here er, and um, was on the lake about 20 years ago. Last that, time I've been up here. That's a long time. There's been many changes. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to keep you waiting because that food is still sitting there. By the way, if you have pancakes, I put a bottle of real maple syrup in there. So don't get the artificial stuff. Okay. Get the maple syrup. Right. Okay, nice to talking to you. Nice Bye. Thank you. Right. Where, are you where are you guys from? Bemidji. Bemidji, and you flew in what? PA-12. Oh, PA-12? That's, yeah. that's the one over here with the maroon color? Yeah, good. Okay, and here's somebody come, coming in. Well, we'll talk to him later. Yes, that's one of the campsites. Uh, that's uh, we have brochures uh, in there. For you actually get mail out here in that we, box. We don't get mail there, but we have it uh, there for the purpose of having brochures, and we have a code of ethics in there for pilots, uh, which pilots all, already are pretty ethical as far as not bothering anybody, uh, keeping the place clean. Uh, but we have that in there as a reminder. Okay. Uh, this was built a couple years ago. Uh, uh, we had a crew uh, come in. Some of the pilots came in from Cloquet and different areas. And we all got together and we built this in two days. Okay. Uh, well, well, we'll take a look around. Yes. Well, I see a fire ring. What is this box here for? The green box, any idea? You know, I don't know what to put that there. Oh, it's, it's heavy. Beautiful spot in the woods in here for camping. So, and, that, and I see an outhouse back there or what? Yep, yep, we built an outhouse. Built an outhouse. In the trees, out of the wind. Do I see a tent over there? Yep, one guy's camping here from Wisconsin, Osceola, Wisconsin. He's from Osceola, Wisconsin. Okay. So now you, we have two of these kind of campsites? We have two locations here. We have a tent site over to, the, to my left here in the woods. Okay. Uh, we have a nice uh, outhouse made out of pine slabs. I'm going to take a close look at that. Well, not real close, but... You know. And we have a campsite over here. Uh, the RAF helped us with that. What's means, RAF mean? RAF is a Recreational uh, Aviation Foundation. Uh, they helped with some funding for this. Okay. Uh, and also they had the uh, uh, liaison, uh, Minnesota liaison come up here uh, and help too. Uh, and it looks like you supply the firewood for the uh, fire council. Yes, we do. In the future, there's going to have a little roof over it to keep the rain now, and snow off. Do you, do you rake the leaves away from the fire drum over there so the doesn't, fire doesn't get into the leaves? Yes. So you got dirt, dirt, dirt around the fire pit then. Yes. 
Now I see the RAF has got their logo cut into it, but what is the, the grill? How does the grill work? The grill is adjustable for different heights. Really good. Over the fire. You say this is adjustable? Go higher. Set it down low. Set it up high. Or you Very can nice. It, or you can take it off the fire. That's a clever idea. Well, this is what... This is. When I, I, I snowshoed in here in the winter and I put woman on there and I, and I, I spelled it woman wrong. Yeah, should have an E on there. But, I, you know. But it's an outdoor. It's an outdoor. Uh, activity. Yeah, RAF <laughs> didn't exactly like that. <laughs> Whoops. That was a hole now. I was going to change it to E, but I didn't want to mess everything up. You know? No, I'm, that, that makes it original to have a spelt like that. And this is all slab wood, so there's gaps in between. So it's, Arable, so to speak. Right, right. And then the, I gotta ask you, one holder or two holder? Open the door. Open the door. It opens in. Not very photogenic, but it does the job, doesn't it? It vents, and, and if you need it, it's here. Now this camper's got a little fire going. He's close by. He's He's raked the leaves away from the fire pit, and it looks like he's warming up some uh, small sticks to, to get the fire going next time. And that's not too far from where he's living, just for the day or the weekend in the tent. And this is the... Uh, Recreational Aviation Foundation. So they'll find this brochure inside the mailbox. When they come to sign in, they can get, take a brochure with them? Yes. And then find out all about find out all about the Recreational Aviation Foundation. Then. They help uh, organizations uh, keep backcountry airports open uh, around the country and they help with the uh, funding, they help with uh, the labor. Uh, okay. Great organization. Super. And look at that sign. Whoever made it did a good job. The rest of us down by the uh, at the campfire had a cold wind. Did you have any wind here? No, there was calm last night. It was so calm, the smoke was going straight up and snuggled close by a nice campfire and was listening to owls were hooting in the trees. Owls? Owls were out, yeah, last night. There was, there was one on this side and one on the opposite side and they were going back and forth on hooting. Huh. And uh, some deer came through right through here and went out onto the field. And right in front of you, right, right yeah, by your tent. Right through here. I just sat in my chair. This is a fantastic spot here. They got the RAF put up the nice outhouse over there for us. And they made some camp spots in what here. A, what a perfect spot. Yeah, they You're away from the wind, the wind, and you got the runway right just through the trees here. Right there, yeah. You sit here and watch the airplanes come in. Well, you, you've done a lot of traveling. Didn't you go to Alaska in your airplane? Yes, yes, I, I took my, I have a little Mall M4. I took that up to Alaska well, probably four years ago now. Went up for two months up there and landed on gravel bars. And then I, what I like to do is I, I Bring my backpack and lightweight. We could buy the smoke here. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of it. I bring my backpack, sleeping bag, and food, and then I'll land on a gravel bar and then I'll head out, climb up in the mountains, and spend a couple of nights out. How'd you navigate? Well, you know, what I did is uh, I researched it on the internet and found that the Wrangell St. Alliance Reserve, they have like 17 cabins out there, old ones that were either trappers or homesteaders or miners that uh, if there is a place to land fairly close by then uh, they refurbished them but they're still original you know they don't re built out of regular logs. What you do to navigate with uh, GPS? Okay, or? I was getting at that oh. they, they, um, they actually put it on the charts and then you, you can just 
get your GPS location and, and head on in. So, but the fuel is very I've, difficult. So you'd have to. There was like four places I found where you could poke on in deeper into the wrangles. So one was up there at at uh, Northway and Toke and Galcan, working your way around to uh, get did, fuel and then head back in some more. Did you have to call in advance, make sure they had yeah. fuel? No. Okay. Because those were regular strips with, you know, oh, okay. strips. They're working strips then? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so it, it's, just, it's just fabulous out in there. It's just, it's, well, right now, I'm kind of, I'm ready to move my trailer up here. Yes. I can't, it's yeah, pretty yeah, nice. Sure, sure, sure. But, and it, yeah. now, you, your nice. tent's back over here. Yep. What do you have to keep warm? Special sleeping bags or what? Well, I have, uh, I, I, for this one here, I, I watched for the weather to see what it was, and I, I brought a 15-degree bag. I, I have a mummy bag. Uh, it, I, I like to use the down, you know, there's controversies over down or not, but uh, if you keep it dry, you're fine. And I was totally warm last night. I, I don't know. They say it got down to freezing, but... 26 degrees. Okay, well, I was I was comfortable. comfortable. No problem whatsoever in there. And then I have a, a Therma Rest that I put out, air, a little air mattress that, that helps keep you warm as well, and it makes it nice and comfortable for sleeping on. And uh, so the combination of those two and perfect night's sleep. I didn't wake up until it was after 7 o'clock. What in the a place to be. Look at this beautiful yeah. color. And into the blue sky, right next to the Grass Strip Airport. Did you pick a good spot or not? Wow. This is one of the better outhouses I've seen because between each log is a little crack so the place is aired out, <laughs> so, so to speak. Now this is one of several pages that people sign when they come and land their airplane here. And I suppose those that do touch and goes don't take the time to come and sign the log. But the log's in the mailbox, and you won't believe how many people come into this airport. It's very impressive. And all these trees, at Bowstring Airport is a beautiful campground for those flying in that want to stay overnight. goodness, I can't twist my body anymore. Frank, what kind of an airplane am I looking at? Uh, it's a Piper J4, 1939. J4, 1939? Okay, and where did you fly from to get here to Bowstring? Came out of Cloquet. Cloquet? Yep. Oh, not that far then? Nope. There's about six, seven of us. Probably right in your backyard. Yep. Okay. 
Enjoy the food. Hey, if you're around tonight, they're going to have fireworks. Oh, okay. Okay. Bye, Frank. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> well, Jay, welcome to the Bowstring Flying. Is this your first time here? You've been here before. I've been here before. Okay. And what are you flying? This is the Avid Magnum. I never heard of that before. Um, well, Avid's been around for many years. Yeah, I just I wouldn't pay attention. Yep. I noticed it's the biggest kit that Magnum made. Well, is is that prop standard, the four bladed prop? Uh, for this engine. What is the engine? It's a Lycoming 0320. 0320. Isn't that the same used in the 172? Yep. Okay. Well. You picked a good day to be here. It was cold last night, but yeah. today is great. That's nice that. to meet you. Bye bye. Thanks. Who am I talking to? Uh, Paul Shillow from uh, Renshaw, Minnesota. Oh, that's I've not heard of that. Where yeah, is it? It's about uh, 15 miles south of Duluth. Okay. Near Cloquet. We fly oh, out okay. of the Cloquet chapter. Okay. And what do you have for a flying machine? I got a 1959 American Champion. A champ, okay. Yep, it's uh, you know kind of one of the second generation champs. So, what's what's the horsepower on uh, that? Got Continental ninety. Okay. And it's got electric start. That's a nice feature, but just uh, flies like a dream. Uh, we put uh, skis on it in the winter, and uh, it's just a fun airplane to fly. Ever think about floats? I uh, thought about it, but uh, I'm relatively new to flying. I've been flying only five years kind of got into it late and so I uh, kind of cut my teeth on uh, the tricycle gear at first and then went to uh, the tail draggers and uh, and skis and so maybe floats is the next thing. It's just another world, another adventure. Yeah, it is. Beautiful bowstring. We just love it over here. Thanks, Paul. Alrighty. Take care. Hi John, welcome to Bowstring. This is my favorite airport. And you, where are you out of? We're out of Cloquet. There's about five or six of us flew in today from ah, I see that. Tell me about your airplane. It looks like it's just been restored or something. It's spotless. Well, I finished it last summer. It took me about, it was about a two-year project. Uh, ground up restoration. Wow. And it's 85 horse and it's just a joy to fly. What's the, what kind of airplane is this? Champ? No. It's a, a 7BCM Champ. Those numbers always confuse me. Well, it has to do with the engine size. Oop, hang on. Okay, we'll come back to you. I, I heard that thing purring in the background and I wanted Actually, to get a... that's also my airplane. Oh, is that right? That's my... Uh, my a and is flying it. I'm, uh, I'm going to be selling it, so... Well, what is it? That's a 7AC champ. Horsepower? That's 65 horse. Okay. Well, welcome to uh, Bowstring Airport. Who am I talking to? This is Mark Manning. Is this your first time here? You've been here nope, before? I, I was here last year. Okay, then I'll probably talk to you. What is the airplane? Uh, this is a Ronka Champ. Now, there's a rumor this may be for sale? Yeah, in the future it will be. Uh, the guy that owns it has a couple and he's looking to sell it, I think. Okay. Well, we'll we did talk to him, so we'll talk to him some more. Yeah, yeah. All right, nice looking airplane. It's a bright, sunny fall day with all the colors. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 
He got in okay. It took a little effort, didn't it? I'll get out of your way. Frank, welcome to Bowstring Airport. Where did you fly out of? I flew out of One Two Yankee, which is Lee Sewer, Minnesota. Okay, you're the second or third airplane from that location. Yes, Must it is. I come down with my buddies Brad and and Deborah and what's the other guy's name? Mike. Well, it was good thing you weren't here last night. It was beautiful, but it was 26 degrees. Oh, I would have loved to been here and camp overnight. That would have been fun. Have you seen the campground here? I Before? haven't been uh, down to the campground at all. It's just down the road here a ways. Look for a mailbox. It's beautiful back in there. Well, I didn't know it existed. Maybe that's what I'll do next year. Well, walk down here. Tell me about the airplane. What is it? This is a 1956 Cessna 172. It was the first year they made them. Oh. And uh, straight tail. Okay. It, uh, flies, it goes up, and then it comes back down. Well, that's all you need to know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. At least that'll keep them busy. Interesting paint job. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Uh, Solon Springs. Where? Solon Springs, probably uh, it's about 30 miles south of Duluth. Okay, I know what you mean. Superior, Wisconsin side, yeah. When I first saw it, it looked like an Alaskan paint job. Oh, <laughs> Alaska Airlines? Yeah, or so something to yeah. do with Alaska. Yeah. Beautiful day, huh? Oh, you should have been here last night, 26 degrees. A little chilly. We huddled around the campfire for a while. <laughs> uh oh. Here they go. I better get a bun and get in line. Very well put me. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
are you from, guys? We made the long trek all the way from Walker. Oh my gosh, she's down uh, the road from me. That started really early this morning, like about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're at some really pretty leaves and. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're, we're, we're being inundated with aircraft all of a sudden. Yeah, we are. Head up, head up and find the food. Yep. Okay. We got a few coming in now. Yeah. Now it's nice and quiet. There we go. What do you say, guys? Do you fly very much with Dad? No, we should, but we just haven't. Uh, well, it's down the road, maybe. Now, yeah, what, are you, what, what are you flying? 172? Yep, this is a Hawk XP. Oh, the XP, okay. Yep. What year? Uh, this is a 1980. Yeah. Okay. Nice plane. I like it a lot. It's supposed to be on floats usually, but. Uh, oh, you do? I didn't see the fittings. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. But it so, hasn't made it there this year. So. Does that have the factory seaplane kit in it? It does, yep. Didn't know they put it in an XP. Yep, this is a factory seaplane kit on this one with the long range tanks. And then it does have the 210 horse issue conversion too. So. Oh, okay, okay, got it. It's, uh, for a 172, it makes for a really nice full plane. Yeah, but I had a 172, a 1974 with a 150 in it. Yep. It's okay with two, and two, two people loaded gas, but yeah. not four. Yeah, well. You might not do four on, yeah. on floats all the Who am I talking long. to, by the way? Pardon? Who am I talking I'm John to? John Stewart. John Stewart, Dave John, Quam. John Stewart. Okay. <clears throat> right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Bowstring. Where did you, where did you fly out of? Uh, we're out of Walker. Walker? That's the second airplane now. Yeah, yeah. We're kind of in the you, you probably followed him over. we got another one coming in, too. Oh, that's what well, There's plenty of food. Yeah, good. And for those that's staying tonight, there's going to be fireworks. Nice. That'll be a, a first for, for this place. Yeah. Well, welcome to... Both straight. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking at the airplane. I noticed there's a metal wing, and you can get metal or fabric. What's, what's the advantage of having a metal wing over the fabric? Well, this particular airplane... First of all, it's a RANS what? RANS S20. Okay. And it's kind of a hybrid, because most okay. S20s are built with a rag wing, rag fuselage. So this is basically the RANS S21 wing, which is, they call it the 141 wing. Um, it's a metal wing rated for plus six, minus four G's, bigger fuel tanks, a little shorter wing, uh, higher G loading, a little stronger, and uh, thicker, bigger wing, a little better cruise airspeed. Dynon and Skyview? Yep, Dynon Skyview touchscreen, yep. Dinah, Alex, and Kibbe. I think Kibbe probably still does it. Well, it seems like a pretty good gig you got going on there.
never seen an exhaust, external exhaust. And this is on a 172. There we go. External, ex external exhaust on this 172. Hard to hold the camera steady without a tripod. Come on in and let's go. All right, let's go see some fall color. It's a little tight for my big camera, but this one, little one will do. Yeah. Is somebody else just coming in? Somebody or? is just, just coming in. Primer. Yep. Look at that. Oh, I had mine on the lock. Oh, okay. Okay, I think we're ready. Okay, clear prop. 